Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi, and today I have a very cool Raid Shadow Legends video for you guys. Um, yes, I am currently in my account, but you're not going to see this after, uh, after this moment, pretty much. Basically, what we did today is I did a lot of work on stream. I was uh, gifted an opportunity. Uh, Sin Donut approached me. He had just pulled a new champion. Saito from the undead uh, faction. Now, I don't know if you guys realize this, that he was even in the game, but they basically just dropped a new champion into the game without any fanfare, without any real notice. Um, Saito is a samurai champion. Uh, he looks amazing, but more importantly, he plays amazing. I take him into campaign, dungeons, arena, and clan boss. And let me tell you guys, he's awesome at all of it. This dude hits hard. His multipliers have to be some of the highest in this game. Um, I try to explain everything as I'm going through it and show you guys all the stuff that we can do with this dude. Um, and I think you'll be very impressed. Now, I did record all this on stream today. This was all done on Twitch. By the way, if you guys haven't checked me out, come by, please. I got a link down below. Um, there's links that come up here on the cards above. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that. And there are times where we work on new stuff that... I, you know, I'm going to present to you guys here on YouTube, and it's really fun to get a chance to see that ahead of time. I mean, um, but because of that, video quality is not great. It's It just isn't great. It's not what my standards, not what I'm used to, not what I wanted. So my apologies for that ahead of time. Uh, I didn't want to have to try and schedule some more time with Donut and re-record everything um, because, quite frankly, that would push this video back another day. I just wanted to show you guys. We have Sacred Charge summings tomorrow. Somebody's going to pull this champion. You want to know how good he is. I'm telling you, he's awesome. Um, watch the video. You're going to see. Um, that pretty much covers it. Uh, this is a pleasure seeing you guys. I'm glad you're here. Um, I'll do a brief recap right at the end. This isn't a crazy long video. Um, apologies again for the quality of the filming and the sound, but uh, I think you're going to get a pretty good idea of what this guy can do. All right, so we are in Sin Donuts account. Uh, we are on stream today. Uh, we are going to going hatless as I do on stream, um, but we are going to check out Sin Donuts account and uh, he has the new champion Saito. Uh, wow. All right. So, oh, interesting. We got him in full on relentless gear. Like it. I like it. Speed sets. Good Lord. That boot makes me jealous. All right, looking good. All right, we got that 100%, almost 100% crit rate, good crit damage. Got even a little bit of accuracy, speed's all right. Attack's pretty solid, looks like. So you guys can see the total stats there that we're working with right now. I don't feel like I need to redo those gears at all. We got a pretty uh, traditional dungeon build, interestingly enough, uh, with the defensive route here, uh, with Helm Smasher on that. Let's take a look at his skills. So attacks one time, one enemy twice, gets placed decreased defense, and extra hit at the if the decreased defense is deep is placed. So that's up to three hits then. Interesting. And a 60% chance of let landing. Uh, attacks one enemy, places increased attack and crit damage buff on himself. And if his defense is higher than the target's defense, decreases the cooldown of the skill by one turn. If the target has more than 50% HP after the attack. Interesting. So this is going to be... So if you guys are facing the clan boss and you can get about 1,600 defense on him, this is going to be a two-turn skill uh, when the clan boss is void. So significantly better against void clan boss. Um, attacks one enemy, then attacks all enemy except the initial target if there are three or more enemies alive. Um... Okay. Inflicts 20% more damage on the first hit if the target has higher max HP than this champion. Again, kind of nice for clan bosses, it seems like. Um, interesting. Interesting. Bosses in general, I guess. And ignores 7.5% of enemy defense for each time this champion attacks the same target enemy in consecutive attacks or turns. Stacks up to 30%. So, as long as he targets the same champion, he's going to have up to 30% ignored defense. Wow. That's powerful. Yeah, this dude looks like he can smack. So, well, let's take him in campaign. Let's just see what he can do. Well, we can stick with A1. Let's see. Let's do this one. Tax one enemy. Whew! Oh. 
Oh, that was nasty. All right, let's look at his A2. Charges up. Slams him, 115K. Yikes. A1. Oof. Let's see that A3 again. Throw in the Ninja Star. Love it. Wow. Charge it up, buddy. Oof. This guy's gross. He's gross in a good way. I can I get the relentless gear on him. He has chances to proc extra attacks. They're not guaranteed. That usually goes well with relentless gear. Let's show him off in dragon. See what we can't do there. Mm. We'll get him get him a nice attack boost there, right? See if we can't stun some of these guys. Don't have to worry about them. Pretty significant damage. Pretty significant damage. So, like, definitely, definitely is going to benefit from, like, decreased defense and weaken stuff. Like, his A1 is not going to compare to an Ethos in that sense. But I'm less worried about his A1, more worried about his, like, A2 and 3. All right, so we got a couple decreased defenses out there. We can see what his A1 does here. So we got three hits in there on that one because we did land the decreased defense with our own hit. I'll be honest, I'm most curious to see how he fares in uh, in clan boss because I've heard some favorable things about him. I'm also interested to see how he fares against the uh, dragon here. So I'm just going to click auto. I'm just going to kind of watch and see how, how this works. He does some work here. A1. A1 is not like overly impressive. It's not bad, but it's not nothing to, like right home about. But this ability, that A200K, good golly, Miss Molly. That's that's significant. That's significant. That's his A3, 180K, 150K. He does some work. Big numbers are fun. He does, he puts up big numbers. Not on his A1, but his A2 and his A3 are legit. Oh man, that's a huge one. And that skill's coming around every other turn uh, against like clan boss and stuff. It's interesting, interesting, okay. I, I mean, he looks good. Straight damage dealer, right? I don't see any utility in places like Spider or uh, or Ice Golem or Fire Knight, particularly. I'm sure he'll be just fine as a damage dealer there, but I don't see him excelling in that spot. Um, oof, I am really tempted to see him in Clan Boss, but I want to see him in Arena first, if I can. Give or take. Yeah, I got you. All right, so we get that speed up. Let's go ahead and get the decreased defense weaken. All right, so I think with this, all right, we're, let's try this. Let's see what the A3 does. Oh, God. He just one shot at Siffy and Miscreated Monster. That's. Dear Lord, that's nasty, guys. That is nasty. That's a lot of damage right there. His attack isn't that high. It's only like. What? 3,000? 3, 3,500? Something like that? Good golly, Miss Molly. That's, that's bad affinity too. Okay. Wow. Wow. I was not expecting those numbers. 90k, 70k plus. That's a Duchess. That's like Duchess is one of the toughest champions in the game to kill. 
Wow. Wow. All right, now I want to see this on auto. See which way he goes. Kinetic depth. It's a good name. Thank you for the follow, man. I can really I can really feel that name. You know, kinetic depth. All right, so there we go. There Hedgy went, of course. All right, so now we're just gonna click auto. We're gonna see how this goes. So he uses A2 first to give himself those buffs. It's not really surprising. It's kind of what I expected, to be honest. Um, now the question is, does he get a, ooh. And that's interesting. So he just uses A1. So the AI is not great, right? Like obviously that A3 can hit like a truck and we'd prefer him just to use that, but he seems pretty content just to A1 it. So I don't think he's gonna be great on defense. But jeez. Here, let's let me show you guys his A3. Oh, he used it already. Oh, he did use it already. That was his A A3? Oh, cause A3 single target. If four are alive. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. God, his A2 does work. Alright, so there have to be Uh so there have to be three other champions alive, basically. So if he doesn't one shot them right away. All right, let's see how we can do. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can't make this happen. Whoa. Oh, that A3 is legit, guys. Good golly. Good golly. Ah, uh, thanks, Dexter. <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. That is some intense damage right there. All right, let's do this. Good gosh, look at him hit. Look at him hit. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, look, I don't know about you guys, but I so far I'm in love with this champion. I want this dude. I think he looks cool with the double, the double katanas. Um... I mean, he looks great. He hits hard in arena. It's got a, a little bit of an off AI for some of it, but looks good. Looks good. All right, let's go ahead. I want to run a clan boss team. I mean, we're pretty much going to want to use that A2. God, 80k just off the bat? Just off the bat? Just like that? What? What? Wow. Wow, guys. Two hundred and thirty eight K. Dude, that is a lot of damage, guys. Oh, 156k. Okay, I just gotta auto this. I gotta just see what this is. This is ridiculous. He hits hard. Look at that. I think we're just gonna call it here. We don't have any revives, so let's leave this battle. Let's see what the damage count is on him up to this point. We only did 8 million total because, you know, it's not like we're optimized for it. Nobody has War Master Giant Slayer on. Um. So there we go. Did 3.3 million. He did way more than everybody else. He did more than Brachus. Brachus. Wow. That dude smacks. Jeez. So Saito. Saito is a samurai design champion. He's got two katanas, which is not traditional. But you can see them hanging out on his back there. I guess one's shorter than the other. His aren't typically worn on the back there but he looks he looks pretty dope right I, I definitely a fan of his look his kit all that stuff um the way we had him built 3600 attack not crazy high 190 speed is nice the crit rate crit damage is good uh actually solid defense hp he did great work against clan boss great work in the dungeons yeah the mastery work 
pretty trick pool. If we were doing a clan boss, we'd probably come here instead of War Master. But this is a pretty traditional attack build. I like it. I like it a lot. I love this kit. I love this champion. Um, yeah, guys, if you have the opportunity to get and build up this champion, I encourage it. This dude smacks. I, I have no doubt he's going to be changing the meta in the arena. This is going to be the attack champion for arena. He's, you're going to be seeing Saito in clan boss for sure, especially with unkillable teams. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, he, I mean, whew. last samurai, right? <laughs> I mean, this dude is, he's baller. He's baller guys. So definitely, uh, definitely love him up, star him up, master him up, get him kitted out with some of your best stuff because he's good all over the game and he just smacks, uh, Ooh, Ooh. Last Samurai for sure. This guy, this guy can play. Well, that's Saito, guys. I mean, super champion. There's His kit's a little bit confusing, the skills. So his A3, basically, it targets one champion. If there's three others that are alive, it'll then hit go with a second hit and target all of them. Um, so you can knock down the first guy with that first shot. You can one-shot him and then hit everybody else. I think we saw that in the video a couple times. Um, but you do need at least four people out there on the board. That's kind of part of the key to making that work. Uh, so against the clan boss, you don't get that second hit. He does seem to prioritize A2, which gives him the attack increase and the crit damage increase. But then it looks like he does go with the A3 after that. So the only issue that is in arena, that A2 ability, he can one-shot somebody. So it takes away a little bit of the AoE from the A3 skill, but it's still, I mean, quite a kit. His A1 does not hit super hard, but I don't know that you need it to. Everything else is doing a lot of work. And then when he does lay that decreased defense on that A1, he can get that third hit in, and it'll do some work. It's not uh, it's not weak. This this build that we showed that I showed you guys, he only had about 3,600 attack on. Really low for gold four arena. You can pack on four or five thousand attack, and he's gonna be one-shotting entire teams. I am pretty confident that he is going to be a presence in the arena from here on you're gonna i think he's excellent in unkillable teams for clan boss and then absolutely if you need dungeon clears campaign farmers he can definitely do the job for that um great champion all in all if you have them build them kit them out you won't regret it guys this is one of the best attack champions in this game for sure um fully encourage that um uh, try to think if there anything else that i really should uh, drop knowledge wise oh you know that uh that clan boss run i know it wasn't the clearest that, uh, of things and uh, again apologies about the quality of the video but that was against weak affinity he was doing those numbers i mean we're talking 100k damage 200k damage 150k damage on the regular uh with those a2s and a3 abilities he was still doing 30 35 40k with a1 um he can play this dude can hit um, I, I wish I had a better unkillable team. I wish I had a Saito so I could bring him in and really uh, show exactly how much damage he can do. But this one is more of a preview, give you guys a glimpse at his kit as to what he can do. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Got, uh, I mean, that's it for me today, guys. As always, uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you do know when the next one comes up. Till next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.